it's just like an illusion, just exactly like a, a light will look. But you can't not see, more you look, more you, you can't see. It's just unbelievable. It looks like sunlight, but it isn't. It's a brand new kind of artificial skylight, which for the first time recreates the same scientific process that makes the sky appear blue. It's pure magic. Developed by scientists in Italy, it's called Coalux. It's been nominated for the Light Source Innovation of the Year Award at this year's Lux Awards, and you can experience it exclusively at Lux Live in November. So Weird Idea Works are really pleased to be able to partner with Coalux to bring this to market for the first time. The thing that inspired us with this is, is not just the fact that it's a very bright light, it's the science that goes behind it being a very bright light, that the fact that the room we're sitting in is bathed in daylight so this is sunshine we have, but we also have everything else that goes along with sunshine. We basically uh, didn't want just to reproduce the effect, not just taking with a projector or something, the blue light, no. We wanted really to reproduce what happens in the real nature. So in the earth, we have a layer, which is the atmosphere, which is made by air, so nitrogen, oxygen, and CO2, basically. And these air molecules, they are all moving, and they create some bumps and small fluctuation. In some part is more dense, some other is less dense. And this fluctuation, when they are hurt by the ray of the sun, they just scatter the, the, the light. And because they are very small, at a nanometer level, what it happens is that only the blue is scattered and the red goes through. So take nanoparticles, which are uh, basically uh, doing the same as, as, as the air molecule fluctuation they are doing, compress the atmosphere from 10 kilometers. You can imagine to compress it down to a few millimeters. And that's making a solid, not in a gas or not in a liquid. So this is the sky. And we built the sun, LED-based sun, low consumption source. And our goal is to create in the people looking at the sun and the sky the perception of infinite depth. This is a technology innovation. Like imagine, for example, you invent the lift. And you look around, and there are only houses, three, four, five floors, no more. And you suddenly think, oh, we can do the skyscraper. I mean, the skyscraper would never be possible without the lift. Or you invent the air conditioning, and oh, we can build spaces which are far from the window. So architecture can be dramatically impacted by Coelux, because we can develop the hearth scraper instead of a skyscraper. Uh, the product uh, seems to be ideal for using in a basement area. I can see a lot of people going for it because it gives a very a good natural light. There was a lot of developments in London which have spas and gyms and swimming pools and car parks and just just spaces that are overwhelmingly dark and, and overpowering. Can you imagine if you had a spa and you came out of each treatment room and came out into this beautifully lit open courtyard kind of space but in a basement? So I can see it being used in many of the iceberg homes we're using, you know, with, we're now starting to go down one, two, three levels, you know, you have swimming pools and some of these spaces can become unpleasant, but with this, you know, bringing that daylight feel in will make the spaces a lot more pleasant and definitely a good application for that. What I'm particularly interested in actually is in the healthcare industry, you know, uh, hospitals coming from a sort of benefit to the likes of the, the patient and the people you know who might be in full health and I think there is a, a real great application there. We haven't measured yet but we are strongly be believe that it's possible to demonstrate that the correlation between stress and, and, and natural light so uh, we believe that Quelux is able to reduce substantially the level of stress. What's been incredible is watching people's reaction to it because they come down to see a skylight and they're going, yeah, yeah, we've seen this before, you know, it's a big hole in the ceiling with some light shining in it. Um, but, but just that moment, that, that moment when you walk in, they go, wow, that really feels like daylight. Basically, this is a trick to convince your brain that you are where you want to be. Because we need the outdoor, we need the space. It's enough to give you something above some threshold that you suddenly are uh, believing that you are uh, outside. 